A high drive into the lower deck and right. Number 30 touches them all. And boy, what a Father's Day gift for Senior. Getting his 500th home run to right field. What a scene this is here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. The 20th member of the 500th home run club. Malone looking for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one. Deep left field. Back goes Upton. Back near the wall. It's out of here. <laughs> Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. This is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Colon has gone deep. High deep drive into left field. Down into the corner again. And Intendi near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. The long pause. Now the We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight it's the first of four between the Washington Nationals and the New York Mets. It's a battle of elite pitchers next on MLB Network. Jacob deGrom gets the call for game one of the series. What's your take on him H. Well, Matt, he's been really good. He's got two wins in the last three starts. His team's had an opportunity to be in the game deep and late, and he's walked away, like I said, with two wins. So let's see if he's able to get three wins in four starts after this out. Stepping up to the plate, Trey Turner. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. HR these Mets as they enter play here tonight they've been on a real nice run of late winning five of their last six games. Yeah Matt they won the game last night and I talked to the manager earlier and he just said you know we executed it. and if we can do that we'll be a consistent team and we'll win games. Hard liner but picked up on a hop and a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first down. A moment now to take a look at the visiting Washington Nationals. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, I know this team is hopeful that Adam Lynn can get back on track. Look, he's coming off a month where he hit under 200. That's under the Mendoza line, which is like almost unheard of. I guess some guys do it, but man, this guy's really struggling. He's lucky he's still in the lineup. In now is Adam Eaton. In previous duels with DeGrom, one for six. He's taken him deep once. And this is low ball two, two and one. Well, he clearly read the scouting report. This guy's been sizzling hot, and look at how careful he's been pitching him. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Set to deal on two and two. Late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. Now another two two. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Here's Daniel Murphy now. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Two out, nobody on. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. And now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Max Scherzer will be on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on him, H? Matt, everybody knows who this guy is. Last year he was a Cy Young Award winner. He's got electric stuff. And I just love watching how he goes about his business. He gets himself ready for every start and he has a game plan. I'm curious to see how he's going to attack this lineup today with the game plan is put together. Stepping into the box, Jose Reyes. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. High in the air out towards shallow right. Harper is in his tracks now and he's got it for the first out. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins Mets starting lineup in this one. 
Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, Joanna Cespedes, can keep it going. Looking at the stat sheet, I was just blown away. He has 10 RBIs in his last 10 games. He's the guy you can't let beat you if you're on the other team, and we'll see if he can keep it up in this one. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, and as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. One out, nobody on. Two and one. Harold, these Nationals as they enter play here tonight, they come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Matt, they're playing pretty good ball right now. Up and down home stand. They went five and four at home. This is the first game on the road. I just think they got to kick it in another notch. When you go on the road, the pressure's a little bit different. You got to take it to another level. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Here's Scherzer now one and one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Worth is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Down in order go the Mets. And this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Here's Bryce Harper now. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Here comes the payoff pitch. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. In now is Anthony Rendon. Runner at first to start the inning. And Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry. And if you don't have a good feel in that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Here's Adam Lind. He drove in two of their three runs in that ball game yesterday. He's, going, he's, going. he's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. So he's in safely there following the one-out steal of second. And with that, we take you to our team leaderboard to display the clubs with the most stolen bases so far this year. And you can see right there where they rank in that category. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here he comes again, 1-2. This is skied into short left center. Conforto is after it, but the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. And there are two gone now. Stepping in, Jason Worth. And this is a good-looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right-handers this season. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Misses ball two. Well this is one of those big opportunities you look back and say did we learn anything. Now yesterday runners in scoring position in big situations I couldn't drive them in. Now you got Walker dives what a stop in time. Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base through an inning and a half. No score on MLB Network. At the plate, Michael Conforto. Past battles with Scherzer, two for 11. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Right side and right into the shift. Turner has it. Throw on to first in time, one away. All right, here's how the Nats line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at the catcher, Matt Weeters. Biggest compliment I ever heard from Matt Weeters, nobody catches a throw from the outfield and tags a runner better than him. He'll take a shot, too. He also calls a pretty good game. Here's Neil Walker. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. 
Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Harper is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Right fielder. Here's Jay Bruce now, hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Another one two delivery. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are tied nothing nothing. Here's the catcher Matt Wieters now and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. From the windup the one one pitch. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses it's two and one. Now the two one home to Wieters. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Cabrera's there. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting ninth. Striding in, Max Scherzer, as he'll get his first Scherzer. opportunity in this one. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Right there is Reyes. In time to first, and there are two away. The batter, shortstop. The speedy Trey Ray. Turner digs in now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Three up, three down for Washington. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as the left-handed hitting slugger Lucas Duda starts out the inning. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Past battles with Scherzer, 3 for 10. He also has one home run. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Worth on the move. And that is a foul ball. Just missing extra bases deep in the corner. Matt, I like the last two pitches. The changeup and then the fastball. And he's late with the swing on the fastball right there. You got him in between right now. And that's an advantage to the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. But that finds its way through for a base hit. Around first, he's digging for second. And the Mets have something going with nobody out. It's a leadoff double. Well, sometimes you make the perfect pitch and you still give up a base hit. That ball's down, and he just scooped it out and drove it through the infield. Into the box now, Travis Darno. And he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here, but at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. Now a look and a throw back to second. Runner is back. A runner at second, nobody out. Three and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. 
getting a few steps off a second there now the pitch and he takes a cold strike at the knees and that'll run things full. Grounded to short. Turner fields it cleanly. And he's retired one away. So stepping in, Jacob DeGrom. And with a runner already in scoring position and one away, he is likely not to be bunting here. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Hit back up the middle. Murphy has it, and he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Scherzer comes set. 1 1 pitch on its way. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup, so I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And here's a ball hit in the air. And there's a base hit as the runner will score from third, and that gives the Mets a 1 0 lead. I like that hit a lot. That's a clutch two out hit. Now, a lot of times we think it's got to equate to late innings. You can do it early in the game, too. Gives them a 1 0 lead, sets them up with a nice cushion, and now it changes how the game is played on the defensive side as well. Standing in now as Drupal Cabrera pitch inside the throw. The throw is low and he can't make the pick. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. The 2-2 one more time. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw in time and the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the top of inning number four. The Mets are out on top, one to nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Adam Eaton comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Shut him down now. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Swing and a liner. And there's the first hit of the game for the Nats. So a base hit for him has him aboard to start out their half of the fourth as we take a look at the now league leaderboard in hits. And as you see, he's right up Daniel there among league Parker. leaders in that department. Striding in once again, Daniel Murphy. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Nobody out, runner on first. Change up cold strike three as he rolls his eyes at the call one away. Well no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see right great hitters have their calls go their way on right. close pitches but Harper. not this time. I think that was actually a good take but on two strikes anything that close can go either way. Stepping in now Bryce Harper and he's in front of a tight little slider that time can't say he's tickling around the zone those last two pitches run, were run, pretty run. much grooved right down the middle but it didn't bite him hit hard on the ground at first and a backhanded reach at first but he can't flag it down and he's safe Up next for the national third baseman Anthony Rendon
In now, Anthony Rendon. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double. And this is a base hit, and that'll get him on the board as this ball game is tied at one. Well, that's almost like an old school approach right there. You don't see it very often. The ball's away, he takes it away, and drives in the run. Take what they give you. The runner from third scored easy on that play. Into the box, Adam Lind. Grounded foul. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. So we saw the fastball there as he got the pop out, and that will segue right into our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. Both guys topping out at 95 miles an hour. Digging in to try it again. Jason Worth, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Bruce has a read on it, and that ends the inning. Only one in the inning for the Nationals. To the bottom of inning number four we go. All tied at 1 and 1. Ready for another chance. Joanna Cespedes. And he'll lead things off against Max Scherzer. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And that misses 2 and 1. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Takes a knee high fastball. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. One away. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here it comes on 1 and 1. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Again, a one two. And the changeup is way low that time. One run, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Eaton ranging back. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now Second Here's Neil play. Walker. Hit Neil. it hard but lined Walker. out in his first at bat. Scherzer's ready. Looking to put him away here on a ball and two strikes. A little bouncer. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. Digging in the switch hitter, Matt Weeders comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now here's the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Cespedes is there. And that's the first out of the inning. The pitcher number 31. So digging Max in now, Max Scherzer. Scherzer. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a little soft liner foul over to the right side, and the count will move to 1 and 2 now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And this is fouled at the plate. Here's the one and two delivery. Another one sent foul. This is line to left. 
And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Well, he's pitching well. They sent him back up to the plate, and what does he do? Well, he rewards seven. him with a base hit. So this is a great game for him Ray so far. Turner. Ready once again, Trey Turner. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's 1 and 2. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one, one tie. Grounded to the right. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, now that's a tough one right there. If that falls at somebody, Adam probably a double Eaton. play. But as a result, it's one of those seeing eye singles just found the hole. Standing in now, Adam Eaton to two and two now. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. Squared that one up just a little late. Two and two count. Here it comes. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Conforto is there. Two gone. Here's Daniel Murphy now. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. He's set. Here's the three and two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Cespit is on the move. And that retires the side. Jay Bruce will be the one to lead us off when we return. Home half of the fifth coming up. All tied at one and one. At the plate, Jay Bruce. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And able to lay off the fastball away here. 2-1 and one now. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitches to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Hit hard down the line. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. He just well, smoked this ball the right down the line. Up. Take a look here. Hard to tell if it was fair or foul in real time, but you can see it flies right over the bag. Ump was all over it and made a great call. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Lucas Duda. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Set. Here's the 3 1. Line toward the gap in left center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. He'll get it into second. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. Back to back doubles now, and that's a great way to get an inning going. The leadoff man shows him how it's done, and he comes right behind him following suit. Lacing a double of his own could be a big inning if this continues. Stepping in now, Travis Darno. This is popped up. Rendon is there for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Ready now, Jacob DeGrom. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. One and one, here it is. A high fastball is in there. Well, it's really raining hard here tonight. I tell you what, it is it is really going to have an impact on this game, too. I'm curious how it's going to affect the pitching more than anything else. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in on it is Eaton. 
He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. Digging in once again, Jose Reyes. He singled and two trips to the plate thus far. Two runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. On the ground to the right side. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. And they're going to hold that runner at third base, as even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. Number 13, Asdrubo Cabrera. Into the box now, Asdrubo Cabrera. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. The Mets get one on this swing by Lucas Duda. Through five innings, it's now two to one New York. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Well executed two seamer on the outside Anthony corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Digging in and looking for more, Anthony Rendon. He's one for two in the ball game. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting the first baseman, Adam Lind. Digging in to try it again, Adam Lind. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And a fastball not close. It's 2 and 1 now. And he misses badly with a fastball here, and it's 3-1 and one now. Well, he falls behind 3-1 right now, but, man, he is really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Now batting. Here's Jason Worth. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he looks at a ball, 1-2. and two. Hits are even right now at five aside. Little dribbler down the line, but it gets foul. And another foul ball. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. He'll try again, one-two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for Washington. Our score remains two to one. Riding in once again, Joanna Cespedes. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Here's the one and one pitch. Called strike on the inside and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Well he's having a good amount of success here Dan even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah but for him Matt he's more of a pitch to contact kind of guy and obviously it's working so far and the way he pitches it really keeps his pitch count down. And he holds off there as the count goes even to the Mets left fielder it's two and two. Chop foul wide of first. Here's another 2 2. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Now batting. Center fielder. Into the box now. Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Low scoring game thus far. 2 to 1 here in the sixth. Hey. 
That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Fouled straight back. Here he comes again, one, two. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Slider and look out, that's up in the danger zone. Looking to fade his first walk, here it comes. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for out number two. Second baseman, Neil Walker. Ready for another shot now, Neil Walker. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Scherzer's ready, coming home with the 1-1 pitch. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Now that's a good curveball. That's the old 12 to 6 from midnight to 6 a.m. And he's doing it all day. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt. And it's back to even at 2 and 2. Here's a fastball that he shoots on into left center. And that'll fall for a base hit. That's turned the clock back hitting right there. Old school hitting. The ball's away. He stays with it and just flipped it over the shortstop's head. In now, Jay Bruce. Mm, right down the shoot that time. One and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Pitch inside the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Mets two and the Nats one. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters, now. And, guys, seventh inning already? Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Ryan Zimmerman will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 11. Ryan Zimmerman. Hit on the ground out to short. Taken there by Cabrera. Throw on to first. Takes care of Zimmerman for the second out of the inning. The batter, number seven. Shortstop. The speedy Ray. Trey Turner digs in now. Last time through was a base hit. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And that one stayed too low apparently. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now a fastball swung on and missed. And that is out number three. Nationals gone in order. They're down 2-1. Sammy Solis will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Sammy Here's Jay Bruce now. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. And this is going to be a foul ball. That's a good pitch right there, right on the corner with the fastball. Good job to foul the way with two strikes, though. 
Uh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That's a pretty good pitch right there. That fastball on the inner half of the plate. You can see that he just isn't able to get those arms extended and pretty ugly swing right there. Now the Nats are going to get a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he lost him here on 3 2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3 2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Into the box, Travis Darno. A sinker over the outside corner for strike two. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Bouncer down the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds at two and two. High pop up. Rendon is there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. David Wright will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. A runner on first with two away. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. Duda rounds third and is digging for the plate. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And he will score now from first. And the throwing mistake there getting the ball in is going to wind up costing him. And now they'll get the third out here, but it won't come until the run has already crossed the plate on the play, and the inning will draw to a close. One for the Mets here on the RBI double. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now 3-1 to one Mets. Jerry Blevins has been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start Number the eight. Jerry Levin. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Adam Eaton. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. And here's a sinker that causes him to back away as that just about got him. Hey, that's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Swing and a liner. But quick reactions at the hot corner take away a hit, and there's one gone. Two very good pitching Daniel performances Murphy. illustrated there as we give you a look at our starter comparison in this three to one contest. Here's Daniel Murphy now. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Change up just off the black and it's two and one. You know he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally so we'll see if he can spark one here. Scooped up on the backhand and the off balance throw beats him at first and that's a tough play. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set so this is all arm nicely done. Standing in now Bryce Harper. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Three up, three down for Washington, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Trevor Gott is on to pitch out of now the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 26, 
Trevor Gott. Jose Reyes will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second, and that is going to get on through, so Reyes is aboard on a leadoff hit. So it's a leadoff base hit to open their half of the eighth. Well, that's his third hit of the night, and are you surprised? That's three singles. Now sits three for four with three singles. Not a bad night. Into the box now as Drupal Cabrera. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And the runner back. On the move again from first. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away. So the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. The next 3 2. Try it one more time for second. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Swing and a miss strike three. The throw. And it's not in time. So Reyes has himself a stolen base. They ran the risk of a strike him out, throw him out play there, but that was a good job of getting in there successfully. On three and two, there's a decent chance the hitter puts the ball in place, so it can be a good time to be aggressive just like that. Here's Juana Cespedes. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Here's the one and one delivery. And there's ball two now. For Reyes, that's now 23 stolen bases on the year. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by, but on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take, and a walk is the result. Now a pickoff play at second, and the runner back in standing. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Again, he sends it out of play. He's set. Here's the three and two. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Now the runners take off again. Chopped weakly to the left. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Now batting, second baseman. Ready for another Neil chance? Neil Walker. Walker. He's working on a one for three thus far. And ball four here on the intentional walk, so now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. Hey, these guys on defense are still oh, within striking distance, 19. but after that walk, Shane. one swing of the bat could really Ooh. blow this thing wide open. Two out, bases loaded. Breaking ball blocked by Weeders. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. I don't know about his decision not to swing there. Hitters count. You get a fastball middle in. That's the one you drive out of the ballpark. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Fouled back. Challenge pitch coming. Here it is. Mine to the right side. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. 
Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. In now is Anthony Rendon. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Jerry Spamilia comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Right side, hit hard. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. That line drive base hit, now it brings a tying run to the plate. You know, Matt, they always talk about a bloop and a blast. Maybe it is a rope and some hope. We'll see how the ninth inning plays out. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. A tough sinker on the inside corner. Here's the 2-2 home to Lind. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. And as Nationals fans have heard before, see you later. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the Nationals have drawn even now at 3-3. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. Stepping in now, Jason Worth. Hits this one hard the other way. Gloved by Walker. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Up next for Washington. Here's the catcher Matt, Matt Wieters now. Wieters. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats a foul ball. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Once again a 3-2. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And this is taken in by Reyes for out number two. The pitcher number 26. Jose Lobaton will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 59. Jose Lobaton. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Now here it comes. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Cespedes going back. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two-run home run. Home half of the ninth is straight ahead. We're tied now with three apiece. Joe Your Nathan comes on to work on the mound, now hoping to send this one into extra innings. Number 74, Joe Nathan. Here's Lucas Duda now. He's got a couple of doubles thus far, so we'll see if he can keep it up. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Way outside. One and two. 0 oh, 2 pitch, not even close to the zone, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Into the box, Travis Darno. Two and two now. One out, nobody on.
And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Curtis Granderson will grab a bat to pinch hit here and you wonder if he'll be swinging for the downs trying to walk off with a victory. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. Matt, he's one pitch away from striking out the side. Now, that's a shutdown inning. Your team gets your runs, and then you go back and shut them down. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And a good cut here by Granderson, but this one's going to find the seats in right of foul ball. Here's the pitch on two and two. And he just misses with a curveball. Tried to backdoor him and lock him up with a curveball right there. Pretty good pitch, but he didn't quite get it to come back all the way to the corner. That's tough to do for most guys. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. I like that. Show him the curveball. Ouch, that one hit him. And this is the case of a guy taking one for the team. I think he could have gotten out of the way of this one, but he leans into it and puts himself on board. Now he represents the winning run, so it's a good move. Standing in now, Jose Reyes in for strike two. Now the one and two pitch and Granderson runs swing and a little tapper that rolls foul so a good job to fight it off and stay alive. Ready with another two strike offering scorched to third. Oh look at Rendon got him. Incredible way to end the inning and that takes us to extra innings. They call it the hot corner for a reason and this is a beauty to take us to break. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Josh Edgen takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Josh Edgen. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Ready with the one and one. Bounce to first. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Up next for Washington. Center fielder. Adam Eaton. In now is Adam Eaton. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hit to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Jeez, this looked like a routine grounder that just got away from him. Every school kid knows that you've got to look it all the way into the glove. He didn't, and now they've got to deal with a one-out base runner. Into the box now, Daniel Murphy. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. And with that, the go-ahead runs up to second now with only one away. Well, that's not right, it? Science. You fall Mike behind 3-1 to this guy. Right. You're probably going to give up a base hit when you throw him a fastball. You're Michael right. Taylor Please. will come on now and pinch run here. Base. Number three, Michael Taylor. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Line toward center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Now batting, third baseman, Anthony Rendon. Digging in once again, Anthony Rendon. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. 
Well hit. Left side. And that's through into left to base hit. The throw to the plate. But it is not in time as they take the lead here in the late going. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead in the ball game, you feel good about yourself. And his teammates are pumped up as well. stand in yet again and as he does we flash you back to inning number nine and this was the big blow a two run shot that helped get us to this point here in the extra frame two men are on with two men out this one's chopped foul right at the plate the count moves now to one and two and a good take there close but it's two and two well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. So, he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now, I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. Taylor is on his way home. And a big RBI there as the run scores from second to make this a two-run game now. Ready once again, Jason Worth. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. In there, one and two now. Two down, runners at first and second. And he strikes him out here for out number three, but the damage has been done as now they'll need some extra inning heroics to pull this one out. So it's two runs on three hits, one error in the inning, and a couple of men left. So now we'll see if these guys can get even in the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Nationals 5 and the Mets 3. Sean Kelly takes the ball looking to make sure this game goes no further. Save situation here in inning number 10. Stephen Drew will come on defensively now as he takes over at second. Stephen Drew. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Two good inside fastballs right there. Now he's sitting 0 and 2. I think he's probably going to have to protect the inside. I'd give him a curveball in the dirt and see if he chases it. The 3 2 one more time. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Harper going back on it to the track. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. That was a tough play, so let's take another look at it with show track. Seemed to get a solid read off the bat, took a good angle at it, and he covered over 100 feet to make the grab. And I'm sure he'll be getting some high fives for that one. In now, Michael Conforto. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Lays off two and two now. He's set. Here's the two two. He pulls this one into right. Harper is there to make the catch and with that the ball game is over. Hey it took them an extra frame to do it but hey they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. And this evening's contest comes to a close 5 3 the final Joe Nathan earns his third win of the year in relief. Sean Kelly records the save his 15th of the campaign. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB Network.
Good night, everybody. The final line score for the ball game tonight for the victorious Washington Nationals. Five runs, ten hits, no errors. They left eight. Three and two. High fly ball to center, and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No, he pulled it back. He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first. A double play. Oh, my. Melvin Upton has hit a home run and has now stolen one. Line drive left field. That's it. Number 1,000 for home.